Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2023 general reading. We are looking at the first half of September from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for the Earth sign of Virgo. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all doing well. As always, a note of gratitude for those of you who watch the videos on my YouTube channel, who comment, who reach out for personal readings, refer and recommend. Uh, thank you so very much. It means a lot to have you support my channel, especially hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. Hitting that like button really does help, so thank you so much for that. So, Virgo, if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Virgo, this video is for you. If you're watching for, if you're cross watching for a Virgo, this video is also relevant. If you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watch any or all of those videos as well for any additional insight or perspective into your situation. And if you find that something does resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading for yourself or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else, or you simply like the reading style. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, please email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also click on the title or uh, description of this video to see that uh, contact information. I would love to hear from you and I can usually get back to you the same day with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of reading choices in all areas of life of all different types and lengths and budgets. There's something for everyone in there. Uh, and I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So scheduling of personal readings is done in a pretty timely fashion too. So email me if you're interested. Okay, Virgo, let's move right into this and see what sep the first half of September 2023 looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. We begin with the Knight of Wands. Knights are offers opportunities for change, the speed at which situations move, a chance or an opportunity to manifest something moving forward. This is the Knight of Fire, so very uh, feisty, fiery, creative, excited, enthusiastic, passionate energy moving forward with the Three of Wands. Uh, wow, I get the sense of somebody being very eager and excited about the future here. The Three of Wands represents uh, having put some effort into, you have some kind of major goal or long-term goal, and this is, the Three of Wands represents where you've put some effort into it, you're starting to see some of your efforts paying off, and in general you're feeling much more positive, hopeful, optimistic about the future. This is like wanting to really just charge forward on something. Next, we have the Two of Cups, soulmate, kindred spirits, best friend, someone with whom you feel you have a strong karmic connection. You probably see things in the same way, or this is how you view this person, or how this person views you. It doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic connection. It can just be like a heart, kindred spirit connection. It's probably romantic for many of you. With the Four of Cups. An offer being made, somebody not quite sure if they want to take it or not. They may feel they don't need it. They don't know, may feel they, if they don't know if they can trust it or not. It's a card of kind of looking to see if you want to grow something emotionally. Next, we have the chariot, success on perhaps a difficult or challenging path. This card represents success that comes from perseverance, determination, and willpower. I'm not going to give up. I don't care how many times I fail with the world. Completion, graduation, moving on and up to a next level. This, this has the feel of somebody who, um, in some matter around partnership, really, really, really is determined, really determined to push through and take something to the next level. From the uh, bottom of the deck representing overall energy and focus for the first half of September is the Magician, which makes perfect sense because the Magician is the manifester of the tarot. He's, I kind of look at him as the entrepreneur. The magician knows from his experience how to make things happen. He knows it's not enough just to wish and think positive thoughts. That's part of it. But this is somebody who's gotten to a place where they have the tools, knowledge, wisdom, experience, resources, or ability to gather the resources to make something that they want to happen actually manifest physically. Very determined energy here um, around partnership. I don't know if this is you know, in, in someone's, in your desire to um, go after someone you, you feel is your partner or perhaps a renewal of something. Hmm. Six 
success on a difficult path, you may see this person as someone that you really have to work hard to earn, or maybe someone you have to work hard to earn back if this has been, there was like a breakup prior to this. Let's clarify that overall energy of the magician. But overall, very determined energy. <laughs> the Four of Cups again. It feels like it's you making an offer, some kind of offer of some kind. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. This is, I, I mean, this is like energy of somebody who's really, really, really determined, really willing to put the energy in, willing to put the work in, and wants to get going on it right away, really quickly. Let's clarify, like really determined energy. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Now, for some of you, a smaller portion of you, it may be that this isn't about a relationship specifically. We do have the Two of Cups, which represents a really great partnership. So it might be wanting to, wanting to, you know, cement the deal in a partnership for, in what you feel would be the perfect partnership for like maybe work or business or something like that for some of you. Or you might be in partnership or relationship with someone and this is the two of you's energy together in trying to manifest something that you want. Clarify Knight of Wands, Three of Wands. But overall, it's it's just such determined energy. Hmm. Six of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Hermit. This is interesting because I feel like this is what's preceded this or caused this very determined energy. There's some kind of maybe disappointment, emotional pain, heartache, heartbreak, breakup, separation from the past. And it's interesting that this the Six of Cups is also a card commonly associated with things we already have history with, people, places, situations we have history with from the past or from childhood or family. It doesn't have to go back that far. There was some kind of disappointment, breakup, separation, something didn't work out well. And the hermit is somebody who has really learned. They have really learned lessons. They have a lot of wisdom and insight gained from the path they've already walked, which, I mean, you know, we learn, we grow, we succeed, we fail, but the whole thing is to move forward and carry those lessons and that wisdom experience with us. And this is somebody who's learned from the past, basically. For some of you, it may be a relationship or partnership that went wrong, that split up. There's been a lot of learning here, and someone is kind of saying, okay, I want to make this right. I want to make this work, and I'm willing to put the work into it, and I want to get going right away. Let's clarify the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups. Uh-huh. The Fool. A brand new life cycle. It's interesting because... In the tarot, the world, which we have here, is the last major arcana card in the tarot. It represents a major milestone and a moving on from that. Um, a whole cycle of the tarot, which is a chapter or a set of chapters in your life that's been particularly significant, you know, has been reached. And we're starting off on a brand new journey here. At least that's what the offer or opportunity is. Queen of Pentacles, there you are, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus could be another earth sign for some of you seven of wands and nine of swords this seven of wands is again very determined energy i know what i know i'm not backing down i'm not giving up holding on protecting guarding but there is a lot of stress about an unknown future here and because it's connected to that four of cups which is a card of an, an offer being made or an offer being presented whoever is presenting the offer here and maybe the other side too is like maybe focusing on it a little too much overthinking it you know trying to figure out how this is going to play out but often with the worst possible negative outcomes so it's kind of a push and pull it's like it's really hopeful really determined energy but at the same time underneath it are really stressed out over if this offer is going to be accepted is this opportunity going to continue to move forward it's like some days you feel like it will and maybe sometimes you feel like it won't right <coughs> excuse me within the nine of swords is a bit of cautionary advice this is too much this is an unnecessary level of attention and obsession so maybe ease back that down a bit let's clarify the chariot and the world the five of swords a hard-won victory uh, winning at all costs. <laughs> My goodness, it's all over this reading, this 
determined I'm going to push through. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Six of Swords and the Lovers. The Lovers represents a relationship crossroads now and a choice needs to be made which is going to significantly impact the lives of everyone involved now again the decision or the choice might be about the relationship itself do you continue forward together or not it might be about another area of life but one in which will affect you know the relationship six of swords healing move it putting the worst behind you and moving to a better place slowly bit by bit you're not quite there yet, but you're moving in the right direction. Well, someone's just very determined to move forward here. Uh, many of you, this is going to be about a relationship itself. Others of you, it I mean, this feels very much like a relationship-oriented reading in some way, whether it's about the relationship itself or whether it's in another area of life and, and the two of you together um, are trying to make a decision very determined about moving forward in a certain way or in a specific way. So long-term security and stability feels pretty re relevant here too, whether it's emotionally in the relationship or perhaps financially moving forward for the two of you as well. Either way you look at it, it's a relationship kind of focused on partnership whether it's romantic or otherwise so let's end with some advice guidance and feedback from spirit <laughs> I, it's been a long time since i've seen one small uh reading one small uh, uh spread with so many cards that are all about i'm not giving up i'm going to push through i'm going to win no matter how long it takes no matter what i have to do it's that energy all right let's see what spirit says pretty much the same thing first cried out as the magician the manifester and I like this coming from spirit because uh, it's a message that you have everything within you that you need or the ability to do what you need in order to make whatever this thing is that you want manifest into physical reality with a good plan because the magician knows how to do that page of cups five of cups for those of you trying to redeem yourself this would be an apology a sincere love or support encouragement driven um, apology offer or opportunity for others of you it's you know it's a card of not focusing quite so much on what went wrong or what's been lost but continuing to have a positive outlook we have this three of wands again starting to see some of your efforts paying off waiting for that ship to come in for the rest of everything that you want on it so spirit is supporting this uh, what a very clear and bright, quick, easy reading. Spirit is obviously supporting this determination and telling you not to give up and to stay positive and focused, which is also a pretty good indication that you can cut this down to at least a four. This is unnecessary. Stop overthinking it and obsessing about it, particularly with you know, any kind of a negative outcome that you're imagining in your head. Don't do that. Okay, Virgo, those are your beautiful messages for the first half of September. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they resonated and were helpful and useful to you guys. Uh, again, if they were and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that by clicking the title or the description of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the September mid-month readings. Stay safe and well. Be happy. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.